Welcome to Sew Your Bag. This is going to be, actually, it's my fifth pattern, but it's going to be my first unboxing. So it's going to be for the November box, and here it is. Isn't it pretty? It's for the November box, and the pattern is, wait for it, I'm going to reveal that in the box opening, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's unbox this bad boy. Um, so... The box is going to arrive with this label on it, all nice and pretty and sealed. And I'm going to grab a pair of my paper scissors so nobody gets freaked out that I'm using my good scissors. And let's open it up and see what's inside. So each month you're going to receive a box filled with all the material that you're going to need to make a bag. So this month's box... So inside the box, you will find it will have a label that says specially curated for you because I've selected each item. There will be a little goodie card. So it's normally informational about things. This one happens to tell you about how to wash it, how to remove the label. In addition, there's a stitch gauge, which is provided by Cereal Bag Maker. And the nice thing is if your needle moves, if you have a needle that actually moves, you would line up the hole and it would tell you how big, where your needle position should be. So that one's by Serial Bag Maker. And I'll put the link below to all of uh, the material that's in here if I bought it from an outside source. So Serial Bag Maker is also one of our women-owned uh, businesses that I've featured in the booklet. When you open each box, you will find a booklet that will show you information. So this month we're talking about being thankful. So it's called Melisi. And Melisi, it means thanks or thank you. And um, it will tell you a little story as well as give you a table of content. So Melisi is actually um, Lingali or a Bantu language spoken in the De Democratic Republic of the Congo. And there's more information here about that. It will tell you the name of the fabric, so it'll give you a little description of the fabric. Um, this month we're actually using waterproof canvas, so we have some waterproof canvas here, which is new this month because normally we use a quilting or Kona cotton. It tells you about the card, tells you what type of interface we're using, and this month we will be using Woven Fix from Serial Bag Maker as well, and it gives you other information. So it tells you about the goodies that are in here and things like that. Um, near the back, it will give you a barcode to tell you uh, so that you can p get your pattern. And the women that wear a women owned businesses that are in this box are Serial Bag Maker, Brooklyn Brittle, which has become a staple in our box with all our subscribers, and Mormino, Lauren Mormino. And then the back is the contact information. So the next thing that you will find in all of the boxes is you will find the lining fabric. So that's usually the second thing. And this month, like I mentioned, we will be using waterproof canvas. So this is new to the subscribers. There is also a piece of foam and this foam is provided by Annie Soft and Stable. Love this foam. It makes the bags very lightweight. It's also easy to sew. It's a sew-in foam. It's not fusible, but it is easy to sew in. It does compress nicely on a domestic machine. I just absolutely love it. And then we have our goodies lay layer. So the goodies layer of every box are the extra things that you need. So it will always have some type of clips. Okay, so there, will, there aren't any pins. I have yet to put pins in here, but the clips will help to hold the bag or the pieces together. This month they're yellow. Every month they change. There is also hardware in this for this pattern, so you will get a bag filled with hardware. So in this case, we have a zipper with a nice sturdy pull. We have a hand, we have a little screwdriver, so we're going to talk about the screwdriver in a minute, but that's in here as well. So the screwdriver is something we're going to need as part of this, so you don't have to think about that. And then there is this tag which says handcrafted. So there's a handcrafted tag in there. And we talk about how to install all of these pieces and there is a backing. So that is um, one of the things that we're going to need or a couple of things we're gonna need for the bag in, that's in our goodie layer. 
the next thing we're going to need and this is the screwdriver comes in are these purse feet and they're actually screw in type purse feet there are all kinds of purse feet out there these are my favorite and i should have mentioned that that i tend to put all of my i will put all of my favorite things so these are usually things i have tried and i actually like um you can use the other type i do like those but i don't like them as much as the screw in uh so th this is why we have the little screwdriver okay Remember I said like you get everything in the box to make the bag. The only thing I may not include is like a hammer. There's a marking tool. So this one happens to be a water soluble one. And so if you add water to it or you wash it after the marking, you will be, uh, you, you it will remove the marking. So you may get a blue one or a white one, um, but you will get a marking tool as well. There's always going to be a spool of thread and a thread keeper because i really hate those threads getting all over the place so this will always be in there we have two rolls of tape this time one month we got one but this month we're getting a one eighth and the one eighth is perfect for holding your zippers in place these are low tack tapes so in other words they're not very sticky they don't easily gum up your sewing uh machine needle and i like them they're they are a scrapbook tape. So it's a double-sided scrapbook tape that I'm using. And, um, but I love them. I love the way that they, that they work when sewing. This is a one quarter inch and you will get the one eighth inch. Like I said, the one eighth inch is perfect for zippers. The one quarter inch is usually perfect when you're doing like seams or sometimes I use it to hold the top of the bag together and then just add less clips to it. I may use it at the bottom of the bag as well, but these are two different sizes and I wanted to introduce everybody to that. This bag, by the way, does have a zipper, which you saw, so we will be using that one eighth tape. This month, I'm also introducing the subscribers to Decoville Heavy. So each month I try to introduce them, if it's appropriate, to uh, different interfacing as well and different suppliers. So this month is Decoville Heavy. The Decoville Heavy was provided to me by Anne from Serial Bag Makers as well. Uh, this is going to be used for the base of the, bot, of the bag to give it a level of stability. So it helps to stabilize or firm up the bottom. You can use other things, but this is a common uh, stabilizer, heavy stabilizer that's used. There are others that you can pick up. There's always a piece of Brooklyn Brittle or some Brooklyn Brittle and this month we're taking um, a taste a tasty bite of the rosemary parmesan I actually love this it was recommended by one of the subscribers I, I'd never tried this flavor but um, I actually I love it it's really really good and since we're in Thanksgiving in the US it was a good thing to add because it's sort of like food um, but it does have a sweetness to it and it is very yummy we're trying a new type of interfacing and this month we will be doing we will be using woven fix and woven fix once again is provided by Anne in, from Serial Bag Maker. I will provide the links to these women owned businesses in the show notes below. Woven fix is a little is different than some other ones in that when you uh, take a look at it and I don't know if I can grab this on video but I will show you instead of having little bumps on it it has i don't know if i can grab it if i can show you it has like a shiny it's almost like a film you should probably be able to see that it's a little film but it goes the entire um back of the fabric so it's the shiny side and this is the part that fuses and so you get a nice even fuse with this so there are no little bumps um, it's a nice even fuse and it's a permanent fuse, but I, I, I tried it. I liked it. It is a woven, so it does have movement uh, to it. It's not a non-woven, which has no movement or very little movement. And I thought it was perfect. It was, it was another stabilizer that I wanted my members to try and consider when they're making bags. And finally, at the bottom of every bag, every box, I'm sorry, is going to be the actual fabric. So the fabric this month is a neutral, and I'm kind of working my way through the color spectrum here. It, it, it is a neutral color. I just dropped my box over there, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, it is a neutral color, and it's, uh, it, but it does have a shimmer. So all, I try to pick fabrics that all have some sort of shiver, shimmer. This month it's sort of a silver hue, which is why I picked silver um, hardware for it. 
and hopefully I can show you this and it comes across well on camera but it, it, it's it's a beautiful piece of fabric and it's it's beautiful for the bag so we've been using some really bold bold prints and this one actually has subtle browns and tones and it was just so so pretty and so um, right here is where you can see the silver tones to it so this is a fabric for the month along with using waterproof canvas this month's tote bag which is called Melisi is actually a design a divided tote bag so there is a divider in here and it is a divider tote and so we will be working with waterproof canvas so there are a couple of new skills a couple of new techniques that beginner bag makers can learn from this box and i am so happy to be able to share it with you this month and if you're interested in subscribing please take a look at the show notes below also if you want to see more unboxing videos Click on that subscribe and notify button so that you become notified every time I do an unboxing. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful day.